features and bones of the skull. We'll start out with the sutures. This is the coronal suture, the sagittal suture, the lambdoidal suture, and the squamous or temporal suture. The temporal bone is here. Bone features on the temporal bone include the mastoid process, the styloid process, the jugular foramen, which is the hole there, the carotid canal, which is just in front of the jugular foramen or anterior to the jugular foramen, the mandibular fossa, where the mandible articulates with the temporal bone, and the zygomatic process. There is the external auditory meatus. Occipital bone is this. Occipital bone has the frame and magnum, the big hole. Occipital condyles on either side. External occipital protuberance and the external occipital crest. Again, you can see frame and magnum. You can also see jugular frame and on this side jugular foramen on that side. Sphenoid bone. Some people say the sphenoid bone looks like a butterfly or bat. That's sphenoid bone. Cella tersica is the indentation there. The greater wing of the sphenoid Lesser wing of the sphenoid. Optic foramen are these structures here, where the optic canal passes through. And the foramen ovale, or oval hole. Ethmoid bone is the next bone on the list. This is the ethmoid bone. Ethmoid bone includes the Christogalli On either side of the Christogalli is the cribiform plate. Cribiform plate has tiny holes in it called olfactory foramina. Those are olfactory foramina. They're passageways for the olfactory nerve. Inside here is the orbital plate. Here is the perpendicular plate, actually makes part of the nasal septum. And the nasal concha 
are the curved structures on either side of where your nostrils would be. There are actually three sets, the superior nasal concave are up in here. We can't see them because this is a plastic model. The vulmar makes up the lower part of the nasal septum. The mandible, mental foramen, mandibular condyle, mandibular notch, and coronoid process. There is the alveolar margin. This is the ramus, the angle, and the body of the mandible. Maxilla, one on each side. Alveolar margin. Infraorbital foramen, palatine process, and incisive fossa. Behind that are the palatine bones. the lacrimal bones, and the nasal bones. The zygomatic bone, with its temporal process, The frontal bone, the parietal bones. That's the skull.